Okay, so as in the title, this is now working without having to load that PY file in all the time. Which is great for us. Yes, that's all. So yeah, using Exuma version 0.22 here. That's the version I'm using. I think they've updated it again since. Hopefully it still works okay. You can still download that version, I guess. So now I'm reading from the radio, just the normal way I'd, you know, without putting that module into it. So if you're new to Chirp, if you go into settings, driver information, this is where you normally enable like out of stock frequencies, but you can see it's already set in Exuma version 0.2. And if you go down to the bottom, you'll see this range here, that's your frequency band range. So it's going from 27 to one gigahertz, just over. So here I'm testing it just by entering in a CB band, just to test it and that ended in fine. So now I'm trying the higher end, so 1.2 gigahertz here. That worked okay. I tried 1.3 gigahertz here. Right, it didn't like that. So I'll put in 1.299 gigahertz. Yeah, and it accepted that. So let's save it here as a test. Now I'm closing it down, opening it back up, reloading that file I just saved. And if we scroll down here, should see those three frequencies. So there you go. So yeah, I thought you might find this video useful.